Dana, say hello to Kimberly. Kimberly, say hello to Dana. Hi, Dana. Hey, how are you? Hanging in there. <laughs> I want to talk to, uh, there's something in common with the two of you. Kimberly, where's your, where's your husband in all of this? My husband is currently um, downstairs in a makeshift uh, space where he's working from home. Uh-huh. And where is he most of the time in terms of parenting and child rearing? How involved is he? Um, when he's able to, he's pretty hands-on, but because he has to work from home and he, he has to, um, it's mostly on my shoulders. Uh -huh. Listen, here's what I want to say to both of you. If you're going to get through this long term, there's going to have to be a redistribution of labor here. And whether you think it's possible, either one of you think it's possible or not, you have to become the eye in the middle of the storm here. And it's astounding to me how much children can do when they're really asked to do it, programmed to do it, and expected to do it. Children need to take care of their own responsibilities. And it's interesting that children take great pride in doing certain things. Children learn about themselves by watching what they do. And when you're in a situation like we're in right now, children have to take on a different role. They have to understand they have responsibilities, making their bed, cleaning their room, making a sandwich for themselves, brushing their teeth, getting their clothes ready in the morning, taking tasks. If Kimberly, if, if your children, even your young children, if each one of them could take two tasks off of you each, that's 10 tasks a day that are taken away from you. I do think it's possible. Um, you know, because like I said, we are on a really tight schedule as, you know, as much as possible. Um, my five-year-old and both of them know they have to pick up their toys every night before we go to bed. Um, you know, they have to bring their dirty clothes to the laundry room and stuff. My five-year-old is really, um, you know, she always wants to make her sandwich. Um, but, you know, I'm still like, okay, well, let me help you because that's just my instinct. Um, so, yeah, so they have a few responsibilities, um, but I could probably use some advice as on how to give them more. Well, that's what I'm telling you. You need to decide that there is a list of responsibilities for each child. And part of that responsibility is they respect each other's space emotionally and physically during a, a certain time of day. Discipline becomes self-discipline when it's expected. And you can't live in this chaos. Kimberly, you can't live in the chaos of five children. There has to be order because you've got seven people in a small space. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to maintain your sanity. Would you agree? I absolutely agree. Actually, when this all first started, um, you know, I set out a huge schedule down to like the very little teeny tiny things of everything that I expect from them. I've written it, I wrote it all out and I posted it on my whiteboard. You can probably see it behind me. Um, my thing is that I become so obsessed when things don't go a certain way that then my anxiety goes even crazier and I'm holding them to such a high standard. I, I worry about, um, I worry about them not still being children during this time. 